Hey everybody, today we're going to show you how to get the full Zonai armor set here in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, so we're going to start with the Zonite helm. And to get that, we want to head northwest to the Rossbro Pass Skyview Tower. And we're going to launch ourselves up from this tower. When you get into the sky, you want to look for the giant waterfall that's falling down. It'll be the only one that you'll be able to see. And you're going to need decent stamina as well as the Zora armor be able to make it across is we're pretty much going to have our glider out the entire time so that we can make it um, and then obviously the zora armor so that we can climb the waterfall if you don't have those you're not going to be able to do this um, but once we get over here i'm going to throw the zora armor on we'll climb the waterfall to the top and this is going to be the first of a few sky islands we're going to land on the first thing we need to do is work our way to the back side of this island we're going to have some mine carts as well as some rockets and all we're going to do is throw one of these mine carts on the rails over here to our left. And we only need to use one rocket to get up. You can use both if you like, but we're just going to throw one rocket on the back here. We'll go ahead and attach that to the back of our mine cart. And once it's on, we can hop on board, hit the rocket, and this thing's going to launch us across to our second island. Now, once we get over here, we're going to need to make an airplane. And we're going to use a lot of different things here. We're going to start by taking the actual glider and throwing this on the track we're going to start with two fans so we've got two fans over here in the corner we'll put one on each wing and getting up this ramp is a little bit of a challenge we're also going to throw rockets on top of the fans now there's no steering device here if you have uh, a steering device you can throw one on there if you want to spawn one however there's not one over here in this corner so we're just going to use the two rockets and the fans you really don't need the steering device to be honest um We'll go ahead and throw these rockets on top of the fans really quick so we can get up the ramp. And once these are on, we can jump on board and hit these guys. Now, all we need to try to do here is not fall off. You guys will see that I don't have any extra batteries, so I'm just going to use a large uh, Zonite charge. Uh, so I'll use the Zonite charge now. Go ahead and select that. And then I'm good to go. I'll hit the fans again. And we want to go on a small island that's over here in front of us. The more you fly forward, you'll notice that we kind of break the gravity barrier there and we start going up higher and higher. And we're actually able to reach this small island over here. So we're going to come right over here and jump off. And this one's going to be a little bit easier, except you want to be cautious about how you do this. We've got two springs here. You need them to be perfectly on top of one another. If they're off just a little bit, you're not going to get the height that you need to make it to our next island. So make sure that you have these perfectly attached to one another. I'll show you guys my mess up. You can see here, I thought I had them together, but you can clearly see they're not perfect. And you wanna go over to these islands over here, but you see I didn't get anywhere near enough height. So I'm gonna fly back down and this is where I realized that they weren't straight, they were uneven. I'm gonna hit those again uh, so that they reset. And then we'll try to reattempt putting these on and make them as straight as possible. And that looks significantly better. Now we'll get the height that we need. Now, you see those islands over there that we originally looked at. We don't want to land on those islands. We want to land on that little small one to the left. And we're going to have an enemy on it, and we want to wait until we see the little explanation point. And as soon as he sees us, we're going to use our bow and arrow. And boom, barely missed his rocket. <laughs> and, uh, and once you take him out, we're going to land on this platform. We've got two rockets here. We're going to use the first rocket that's standing up, attach it to the middle. And we want to hit that without hitting the second one. And while that's launching the platform high up in the sky, we're going to pick up the other rocket and do the same thing. Attach it to the middle and hit it again so we can get some more height. And that's going to give us plenty of height to make it over here to this island beside us, which is going to be our final destination. Uh, so go ahead and fly to the left side of this island. And once you get over here, we're going to have to start to our shrine so we can go ahead and interact with that. And once you do, you're going to get a little cutscene where all the water from the sky island drains out. So it's all going to go away. It's actually going to open a secret door back here. So once that cutscene finishes, we'll go ahead and use our half gravity, whatever you want to call this, to jump across. And right down here, we're going to have an archway. Now we're going to have a bunch of rocks that are blocking the way. So we're going to use a bomb flower to destroy these. And once we do, we can go all the way down. Now all we're going to do is move some lights around. When you get down here, you'll notice we have one giant beam of light that's coming down from the door. We want to pick up one of these lights here on the ground. And we're going to place this. And if you look carefully while you're doing this, you'll notice them. The first one's going to be to the right. You can kind of see the little glow of where the next location is going to be. 
We'll jump across here. And I believe if you look to your left, you can kind of see the glow off in the distance. So we'll just pick this up and rotate it down. You'll be able to hit the other light on the other side. And we're gonna jump across, go to that one. And this one, you can see it, the glow in the back over there. So we'll go ahead and rotate this down, attach it to this one. And then the last one's gonna be to our right. So you're not gonna need to look left this time as there's no glow on that side. You can see the little glow right here behind us. We'll go ahead and rotate this light. We'll hit our last beam over here and that one's gonna go straight down. So we're gonna fly down towards that light. And you'll notice that we have a construct over here we're gonna need to take out. Go ahead and hit an arrow into him and he's gonna drop a light shield. We're gonna go ahead and pick up that shield and that's what we're gonna use to finish this little puzzle. We'll go ahead and pick it up and then we're going to stand right under this light beam here and point it at our orange target and once you point the shield it'll turn green and it's going to start lifting us all the way up and once you get to the top you've completed the puzzle turn around see all the light everywhere all we need to do now is climb above where the green light is on this little ledge and as you guys can see when we get up here we have a chest that's now up here and we can go ahead and open that chest and inside, you're gonna get the Zonite Helm. Next, we're gonna go get the Waste Garden. To get there, we're gonna to head to the Mount Leneru Skyview Tower on the southeastern side of the map. You're also gonna need a Splash Root for this one, so I'll just let you know that ahead of time. As soon as you fly up, if you turn to the right, you're gonna see this Sky Island over here that looks like it has a tower on it. We wanna to fly towards that, and once you get a little bit close to it, you'll notice we have another giant waterfall. That waterfall is where we wanna end up flying to. So we're gonna work our way all the way down here again using our Zora armor to be able to climb the waterfall. And you'll wanna have some cold resistance armor as well as you will take damage up here if you don't have it on. But we'll go ahead and grab onto the waterfall. And once we make it up onto this platform, we wanna go take out this construct that's over here on the smaller platform. Go ahead and take him out. And then we're gonna jump on that and use it to get to our other Sky Island across. So we're gonna take these two rockets and we're gonna attach them to the sides here. So we'll put that one there, grab this one and attach it on the left side. And then we can just hit the rockets and it's gonna launch this platform to the other side. And all we need to do is just ride across and you can jump off and fly when you feel you're close enough to make it. And once you get over here, we're gonna go ahead and interact uh, with this little shrine starter. And that's gonna cue a little cutscene that's basically gonna activate the airflow on this island. So you guys will see the air starts going up and we're going to ride that all the way to the top of this thing. So we'll start by coming right over here to the right. We'll climb this wall. And you'll want to get your stamina all the way up. And then we can fly. We'll just ride this one. And then we're going to come right over here. We'll take this one next. Ride all the way up. We have another one right here to our right. Get on that one. We'll continue to go up. When you get to the very top, instead of flying upwards, we're actually going to dive down into it like a, a scene from Mission Impossible. So we'll come over here. We're going to get our stamina back. And then we're just going to dive in here and just try to avoid the lasers. It's not too difficult. The bottom ones are moving a little bit, but you shouldn't have too much of a problem. And once we get down here, we want to end up beside the shrine. So you guys can already see where the shrine is over here. We're going to have a spot where we want to ascend. So I'm going to jump down to show you guys. And right over here, behind, beside the shrine, you'll see we can ascend up there and we wanna get across the lava. So we're gonna use the splash fruit here to create platforms in the lava that we can jump across. So we'll put two down so that we can get underneath. And once we get underneath, we can go ahead and use ascend and it's gonna be a little secret room up here that's got a chest. We can go ahead and open up that chest and inside you're gonna get the Zonite Waste Guard. Now all we have left to get is the Shin Guards and to get those we're gonna head over to the Ori Mountain Skyview Tower that's on the northeastern side of your map. And once we launch, if you turn to your right, we're just gonna go to this little uh, sky island that's connected where you have the giant boss on the big circle platform. And we're gonna come over here to the smaller platform. We're gonna have a hovercraft and all we wanna do is throw all the batteries that we can on this thing. So we have a couple more. We're gonna put two on each corner that doesn't have one. And then there's gonna be two more left over here. So we're just gonna stack these on top uh, diagonal on other batteries because we're gonna need every battery we can get to get to the next island. And once you have all the batteries on board, we're gonna bring this thing over here to the corner and we'll show you where you wanna go. You'll see this giant box in the sky. We wanna to go to the three islands that are to the right of that box. And we're just gonna fly over that way. 
we'll go ahead and hop on this thing and just fly in that direction eventually we'll get the height to get over there we just want to get on the the lowest island so you can see we've got three we want to get on the one that's closest to the ground as that's where we're going to have the little shrine beginning that we're going to interact with so we'll go ahead and fly across you guys will see the little shrine we're going to interact with this and once you interact with this, it's going to cue the cutscene and show the little things that launch you from island to island. And we're going to use those to get ourselves to what essentially is the Death Star in this game. I don't know any other term for it. But we're going to come over here. We don't need to move it. It's already aligned. We're just going to hop on this thing and wait for it to launch us. That thing is going to launch us up to the top here. And when we get to this one, we're going to need to move it a little bit. You're also going to have a construct over here who's shooting at you. You can go ahead and take him out that he doesn't get in your way but we're just going to turn this to go to this giant island that looks like a ship above us doesn't need to be perfect just needs to be close and once you get it close enough we can go ahead and hop on this thing and it's going to launch us to the next island and once we're up here before we hit the ground we're going to go ahead and take out this construct on this platform and then we're going to move this platform because it's going to be in our way but we'll go ahead and take one of these rockets just put it in a random direction and attach it and then hit it and jump off let that little platform leave and then we want to turn this. This is going to be a little bit of a challenge. You want this lined up perfectly with the entrance to that Death Star up there. As not only do we want to launch ourselves, but we want to launch one of these boxes. Now you have several boxes to attempt with. I mean, you've got so many tries. You'll see here my first attempt, we were way off. It went way left. So you just want to line this up until you get it just right. But you need to have one of the boxes go inside. So I think we were able to get it with this one. So we let it launch. Go ahead and put this thing on there. It launches the box and I mean, perfect. You couldn't ask for a better shot. Now we're just gonna launch ourselves up there and I was very unlucky here and got a blood moon right as I was about to make it inside. So hopefully this doesn't happen to you, um, but we still made it inside, just skip the cutscene, and uh, And once we get in here, we're gonna take that box that we shot inside and we're gonna put it on this platform in the middle and that's gonna start making this thing turn. Go ahead and drop that on. We're gonna climb the little tower right next to us here and we're just going to ascend to the top. And once we get on top of the moving Death Star, we're just going to go to the other side and jump off. It really doesn't matter where, but we're going to pull our chute immediately. And we want to look for the entrance towards the bottom. So just fly around the bottom. Don't get too low. You guys will see here's the entrance. We can now go inside. Now that we're on the bottom side of it, we can have the chest that's in the middle. And inside is going to be our Zonite Shin Guards. But this is how to get the full Zonai armor set here in Tears of the Kingdom. If you guys have any other questions, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below. And we'll see you guys in the next video.